Hello everybody and welcome back to Casual Aquatics. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing a new type of balk food for fish. Now I order it from Tractor Supply and it comes in this box. They don't carry it at the store but through their company they do and they ship it to your local Tractor Supply. And then of course there's a bag of food in there. So we will get that opened up. I'll let you guys check it out, see the brand. I'll open it up and I'll feed a little bit to my fish, see how they react to it. All right, this stuff is called Aquamax. It's by Perina. It comes in 50 pound bags. I think you can get it in 36 pound bags. The stuff I tried before was called Game Chow. This is called Aquamax Premium Fish Food. And this is the food that I use for my pond fish. And the last stuff was pretty good. They seemed to like it. But near the end, it seemed like they were just getting burnt out on it. I hope this has a little different variety. And I hope they enjoy it. So it's kind of hard to see a difference. But this over here is the game chow. The first stuff I tried. This over here is the new stuff. It looks more golden and bigger than these pieces right here. It also has a little different of a smell to it, but I'm sure it will be quite all right. I have this big old tote that I put it in, put a lid on it, all of that good stuff. Now, real quick, a lot of people have told me, at least with the last stuff, you shouldn't make that their primary food. It's not good for them. Blah, 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 blah. Well, I haven't seen no health effects with it. The only thing is this food tends to be a little more oily. But if you have proper filtration, that shouldn't be a problem. And it's not like I only feed them just this. They also get a combination of flakes, shrimp, night crawlers. But this is primarily what I use as a staple food. This one bag will last three months feeding my fish. So to me, it's well worth it. Now, if I see any kind of ill effects, I'll definitely stop using it. I don't want to harm my fish in no way. But I'm sure there's going to be those people that do watch this and they think that very way. And that's okay, man. Put, them, put it in the comments and I will reply or whatever to each their own. I'm just trying to help people find an easier, cheaper way to feed their fish in bulk. Without further ado, here goes nothing. Now you can see that little bit of an oily substance that comes off of it, but with proper filtration, it goes away. And this thing is like over filtered. I got my trash can filter. I got my dye sump I made. I got my internal pond filter. And then I got this power head over here that's buried, but that's what is creating this motion right here. So everything's being cycled. And then I also got my little cage down there that's catching debris and stuff like that. And believe it or not, I feed this tank the same stuff. What's up guys? Dad's got a new type of food. Jaguar got her a big old bite. Sadly, I still haven't really got him to eat any, but it'd be really cool if he did. 